But Banjo Tooie, you can't get starting on World One. You can't get your all your jiggies at once. You can never. There's not a single point that you can get everything in a level at one time. And I wasn't totally confident how I felt about that. Where am I going? I'm gonna. Oh my god! How many times? I don't have a flap. Okay, so there's a ghost down here that you want to get. And there's also feathers. There's 200 feathers in every level. You want to get them. There's five ghosts in every level that you want to get. The everything gets you pages. That's the whole point of this game. Because this is just a giant collectathon type of open world game. Which I don't I don't know how people feel about this anymore. Back in the day, it used to be massive. Lots of games. So many games were doing it. Nowadays, I don't know if people... I don't know if other gamers really have the... The desire for it or the patience for it. I'm not... I don't... I mean, I hope they do. I hope that games like this start to make a comeback. And you can play lots... Or do lots, explore... It's not... I mean, I love a good story. Look at God of War. God of War was absolutely brilliant. And that was an open world game, granted. But it was a heavy story game. This was... This is not a heavy story game by any stretch. She's looking a bit malnourished. Cripes, thanks goodness you're here. I've been kidnapped by these things. And they're going to cook me. If they're hungry, they'll need a character... A They'll need a character a bit more fleshed out than you. Gosh, it seems you just can't be a world-class explorer these days without being cooked and eaten. Help me escape and I'll reward you with a pagey. But be quick. My captors will be back any minute with their condiments. I do love the writing in this game. I wish I could do it justice, but I totally can't. Don't worry, miss. We'll get you out of there. Ugh, step away from pot. Step away from pot, strange dinosaur. Wait, I'm not a dinosaur. Or they, were they referring to these things? Yeah, so to get this pagey, all you have to do is kill all of these guys. It's not hard. Square or your, uh, whatever your Xbox or your Switch button is. It's your attack. But like I was saying, I hope people... I hope more games like this come out. I miss this genre of gaming. I miss this open world collectathon. Like when you say collectathon, nowadays it's it comes off as ridiculously tedious and boring and just padding the game length. It's like a collect -a not a collectathon, a fetch quest of sorts. Like the entire game is just a giant fetch quest, but it's not. Oh, thank you, kind lizard. You have my eternal gratitude. Those brutes took a real beating, but I have a feeling they'll be back. Can you feel it in your bones? Please take your reward. You earned it. Like, Super Mario Odyssey, which ironically enough was going to be the other game that I was going to play if it wasn't this before my Kyan started telling me that this game was bad, even though I'd never played it. I can pretend like you had. So, now I'm showing it off because I've got a lot of things to say. It's like having my own little personal radio show, which I have a lot of time for. Anyways, if you look at games like... Uh, I can't do anything with him yet. Games like Odyssey, which have so many different moons, power moons to get, which is just ridiculous. And you get them by doing just the completely random quests. So it's... There is a sort of... I don't know if it's a... Style that's coming back. Or if Odyssey was just a one-off. Because Nintendo just kind of does random things at times anyways. At the best of times. Look at Breath of the Wild. was completely different. And completely brilliant. Don't get me wrong. Like how you go... I'm not sure they can go back. 
Breath of the Wild style. Or not. I'm not sure how you make a game that isn't like Breath of the Wild anymore. I'm not sure people will go to that. If you made a game that was completely based around story and completely scripted and all the temples without sequence breaking, even though you can sequence break in Ocarina of Time, but and probably Majora's Mask for that matter. Actually, uh, you could probably sequence break a lot of things in all of the Zelda games. But for normal players, I want... I'm gonna take my slurp shot here. Come back soon. You'll definitely need these mirrors. Yeah, why am I reading this? So, I mean, I'm sure Nintendo will come up with something new, I'm sure, for the next Legend of Zelda game. That's just kind of what they do. And after Skyward Swords, eh, I mean, it was good. I can't do that intro again and again and again. It's just too long. And Fee, I wasn't a fan of, but the game overall, like the story was good. I like the, I like the game, but Breath of the Wild is just like stages above it. And Odyssey was absolutely incredible. But Nintendo has been doing that with Mario 3D games that weren't side scrolling or what have you. Like they were... They haven't gone through the massive changes that the Legend of Zelda series went through with Breath of the Wild and even A Link Between Worlds, which I think is a wonderful game and I think most people probably agree with me on that. But Odyssey, like there were games like Sunshine and like uh, 64, obviously. There wasn't a Wii U one now that I think of it, but there wasn't a whole lot of Wii U games in general. There were good Wii U games. There just wasn't a massive collection of them like there was with other stuff. So I'm not sure like what Nintendo could do with Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wild sequel. Because it has to be that style of open world again. But I guess it doesn't have to. I'm not sure how people would react to it. Impressive. I can't believe you finished ahead of me. Yeah, all we had to do was beat this guy in a race. That was nothing special. And then we get a pagey for it. Go team. Okay, I am going to roll around because I was missing some feathers there. And I could use all the feathers I can get. Crap. Jerk. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, give me that. Did I not? What did I get? What did I pick? I picked my slurp shot, did I not? So why can't I eat this? Okay, time out. I'm gonna apparently just be an idiot, which is not uncommon. That's the name of the channel. But where, oh where, how many other feathers do I have? That's 56. I need to get to 60. Because I want that, I want a second move here before I start really accomplishing anything. I would also like my power bar to recharge, which is taking forever. What the hell? I thought I had quick, okay, well, I'll get to that in a second. Crap. I'll get that later. The danger with missing feathers at random usually can be that at one point you're going to get to like 199, 198 feathers and things are going to get dicey. And this is also about as far as we can go right now. But there are feathers here. I don't think I'm going to get to 90 though. 90 seems like a lot. We're this early on. Maybe I'll get lucky, but I'm not feeling it. And I don't have the... Yeah, okay, I can't deal with that either. Ignore that creepy little voice for now. Can't do much with it. 
Anyways, so let me know in the comments what you guys think of collect-a-thon type games. And I mean, I hype if you're watching this game. Oh, I need to reposition here. Okay. If you're watching this game, I'm assuming, did I not buy anything? I didn't because I'm an idiot. God, what are you? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll explain the moves later. Um, I assume if you're watching this game that you are interested in these style of games or you're watching it for nostalgia's sake or you somehow stumbled upon this video by complete accident, which, I mean, good on you if you did. Then stick around, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, share it, blah, blah, blah. But... If you're, I don't know if a younger generation, um, it's so weird to be saying a younger generation. It makes me actually slightly uncomfortable. But if you did not grow up on Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie, like people that I know did, then I still don't have a butt slam, damn it. Of all the things. And I don't have a... Oh, right, because you get that in the second level. Okay, never mind. Uh, but, but, but if you didn't grow up on Banjo-Kazooie or Banjo-Tooie or anything of the sort, if you grew up on a different era, it's like people that play 2D side-scrolling games. If you didn't grow up on 2D games, then I don't think a younger generation particularly cares. But I don't think... A lot of the games, they haven't been given a chance to care. Because Odyssey sold great, to my knowledge. I would imagine it did. It was a Mario game. So, and Odyssey is... Oh, you're an idiot. You totally missed all of them. Odyssey is just a way more uh, bigger scale of this kind of a game. So, out of all of this that I've been talking about for the last god knows how long um i want to see more games like this it's really like they're big beautiful worlds filled with life um i mean you can debate uh nuts and bolts as worlds are not necessarily filled with life but they could have been could have been a lot of things I'm not, <laughs> I'm not getting into the nuts and bolts thing. Like I've said before, I actually like nuts and bolts, just not as a Banjo-Kazooie game. I wonder how many times I'm going to die through this game. I would imagine a lot. Imagine I'm going to do a lot of stupid things, <laughs> get myself killed a lot. Where else can we go? Since we're doing well on the pages. Um, this, see, I'm not sure how this game is going to come across on video. But there is a charm to me of just exploring. Just seeing what this world has to offer, getting the sights of it, all of that to me. And this is a game that, you, I mean, you really have to experience. You, you really need to play it in order to get the full effect of how it goes, of how you want it. That right there is a play coin, which will be used for a little mini game later actually i think maybe we should go do it now why not let's go do it now let's come over here to retro 64. hello there strange polygonal dinosaur are you sure you're the you're in the right game or decade hello my name is retro rextro rextro 
I here to showcase my amazing arcade games. Rextro, lonely. <laughs> Reading improper dialogue should be easier for me, but it's not. It's still just the worst. Since 1997, but they will sure be there soon. No wonder your blocky game characters went extinct. Well, Rextro crowdfunded return. Got cool old school games to play. Rextro had to borrow assets from other games, but don't tell. Friends will need play coins to make arcade work. Rextro's sure he saw one near here. We've got a play coin, Rextro. Oh, good. Press X to press yes. Uh, let me know if you guys actually want the dialogue and stuff. If you do, then I will continue to read the dialogue. If not, then I'll just skip it. Anyways, come up here. Fall down like a loser. And we are going to play the first mini game. There's one of these in every world, which is something that I would know in this game is that a lot of this stuff can sometimes be repetitive. You know what you're looking for in the game or in each world. A lot of the missions can feel kind of the same. And I can understand that complaint. I could probably make that complaint about a lot of games. But this is the first crack at making this kind of game again. And we also have five minutes. We have to do five laps. I've got to remember how to play this game. All right, I've got a cannon. I do not know this game enough to be on cruise control. Oh, damn it. That's a... Let's go. Okay, this isn't that bad. No, we're fine. That's a easy, okay. Yeah, well, we're gonna rock this. Let's get that speed boost. Uh, the purple, or not the purple, the black vials with the like skull and cross on them. Those are bad, don't get those. It seems pretty basic to me. So there is one of these arcades in every world. There is a number of different missions that show up in the same or in the world. In each of the worlds, I should say. Let's try to go for the shortcut. Awesome. That actually worked. Right into the fire. And I think that might have been a complaint about these character or this game that things might have got a bit stale near the end and maybe weren't as creative but I don't know I didn't quite feel that way they still I mean it was the same concept but it was like gaining levels like every time it got harder you needed to be more skilled they got more complex I I think that's just good game design personally I mean, if you go back and you look at Banjo-Kazooie, this whole first hour of this recording is just going to be comparisons. Wow. Uh, when you look at Banjo-Kazooie, like, there wasn't even accomplishing that much missions-wise in it. It was more just literally go find random spots on the map and... There's a puzzle piece there. That was basically the game for the most part. I didn't make that jump. I did not make that jump. But now that I don't have to try and get the... Oh, camera. Wish we are going... What the... Where did that guy come from and why is he here? Oh boy. Good day, strapping adventurers. Splendid day for a hunt. Damn it, I'm out. Oh, clever girl. Uh, I'm only stopping this here for the moment because I need to stop this recording in case this power goes out and I don't want to lose it.